What's up, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to Let's Play Friday. This week on Let's Play Friday, we're not even playing anything. We are actually simulating in UFC 2. Now, there's a huge fight coming up in New York, UFC 205? Yeah, it's 205, right? <laughs> the UFC featherweight champion Conor McGregor is stepping up in weight to take on the UFC lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez. This is the first time in a long time I can think of two champions facing off, and if Conor wins, he can be the first fighter to ever have two belts at the same time in the UFC. Dan Henderson has done it before, he did it in Pride, I don't think anyone's ever done it in the UFC. There's only a few guys ever that have even won belts in different weight classes in the UFC at different times. Randy Couture won the light heavyweight and the heavyweight, BJ Penn won the lightweight and the welterweight. You know, it's only happened a couple times. John Jones could be the next guy to do it. If that guy can ever get his shit together, I feel like he could go on a run at heavyweight, but time's gonna tell on that one. But yeah, for this one, I figured, you know, I could play, but we wouldn't really get a realistic breakdown of what's gonna happen. Not that it would be realistic, because I'm sure these guys are gonna do shit here that when I'm watching, I'm gonna be like, eh, I don't think they would really do that in this fight. So by me not participating, it at least gives us the feeling of it being, like, it's not biased. I, if I was playing as Eddie, I wouldn't be able to, like, pull some shit that I knew would work against Connor and vice versa. So I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to go. And I'm sure there's going to be so many comments on this video that are just like, You fucking asshole, this isn't the real fight. So the thumbnail I'm going to use is not going to be... Uh, it's probably going to be that, right there. It'll be this from the game, so it's very clear. And I was talking to my brother, Hefe Shahiras, earlier, and he was talking about how, like, Eddie Alvarez is way bigger than Conor McGregor. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> there we go. We can skip the rest of that stuff and get right to the fight. Now, Dan Ans, when this fight actually happens at UFC 205 in New York, I'm not sure who's going to take it. I mean, the biggest problems I see is that Eddie Alvarez gets hit a lot. And Conor McGregor, when he hits guys, he usually finishes them. So that's not going to work very well in Eddie's favor. We saw in Eddie Alvarez's fight against Anthony Pettis that his wrestling, he's a, he's a big-time bully wrestler. And when we saw the Conor McGregor fight against Chad Mendez, when Chad tried to take Conor down, he got him down. Oh, goodness, just like that. Big takedown from Eddie Alvarez. I kind of feel like I should do a little bit of commentary here just for the sake of Let's Play Friday, like give it at least a 616 feel. I turned the commentary of the game off so I wasn't like talking over Joe Rogan and Mike Goldberg. That'd be kind of annoying to listen to. Big elbow from Eddie Alvarez. He might be trying to open Connor up, get some blood in them eyes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this could be how that fight goes in New York when it does happen. Eddie gets him down, we have to see how Connor deals with the pressure. I would assume in that fight, Connor McGregor's gonna wanna stay on the outside, work his kicks a lot. That left hand, straight left hand piston down the middle. Another thing that I think we're going to see is Eddie Alvarez loves to shoot for takedowns. Conor McGregor has a ridiculous left uppercut. Oh, wheel kick. Eddie Alvarez is hurt. Eddie Alvarez is really hurt. Jumping front kick. Ooh, Eddie don't give a fuck. He's waving him in. Nice body shot there from Conor. The question I have now is, if this fight ends early, do I sim another fight for Let's Play Friday? Because that would be a pretty short episode. Probably the shortest episode since, um, what was it? Meth Head took on Homo Hater in our WWE 2K16 episode <laughs> when Vince's character fought Tara's character. Hell in a Cell was about a 37 second match. <laughs> I feel like the fans went home happy though. I think they got what they were what they were out for. Odd choice here of Connor initiating the grappling. Eddie's got double underhooks, and if he can take him there we go, there's the trip. Taking him for a ride. Connor does not want Eddie to posture up here as he passes the half guard. Eddie's trying to he passes on the other side. Can he get side control? Oh goodness, no he can't! Connor takes the back! Connor's looking for a rear naked choke. 
I don't think so, though. Not an Eddie Alvarez, you know what I'm saying? The former Bellator lightweight champion, current UFC lightweight champion. That was a pretty close round, Dan Dans. Connor ends the round full mount. Eddie does not want to be back in that position when round two starts. It is at this time between rounds that we're going to take a look at the replays here, but I'm also going to remind you that on iTunes or SoundCloud.com slash 616 Entertainment, you can listen to the 616 Entertainment Podcast. <laughs> We've done 130 some odd episodes at this point. And there's really, it doesn't fucking matter which order you listen to them in. We have great guests on from Freelance Wrestling's Matt Nix, Stevie Fierce, Chris Castro, the beautiful Tara Darcy, the Tokyo boy Vince Burnett, no gimmicks needed Lauren Newman. You should be checking out that episode. Episode? That show. Ooh, Connor throws a hook kick. Misses it, throws it again, and lands it. Ooh, Connor with a big combo there. Ends with a front kick. But Eddie's answering back. How's my commentary, Dan Ans? Let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm fucking around a little bit. If I was taking it seriously, I would be calling all of these shots here. Big head kick from Connor. Eddie's picking him up, takes him for a ride again. I wonder if Eddie is sponsored by Metro PCS, because that's twice that he has slammed him directly on the 4G LTE sponsor. Connor slips around, he's got the back again. See, this is where at the end of the first round, Connor ended in full mount. Not gonna happen. Eddie turns around, gets in Connor's guard, passes the half guard. This is not good. You do not want Eddie Alvarez with side control. Connor's trying to escape, but Eddie takes the back. Not good for Connor, who rolls. Got Eddie back in full guard. Look at that switch, son. Oh, Connor. Oh, shit. Connor's looking for the back, trying to get the hooks in. And he's got him. Not good for Eddie Alvarez. Connor looked like he was going for a choke there. Trying to trap the arm with the left leg. And now he's got him in full mount. This is not what we wanted after the end of the first round. Eddie rolls over, but he's not out of the woods. This is bad. This is not good. Connor's looking for full mount again. See, now I did not think he's got the mount. I did not think this fight would be fought on the ground. I definitely thought this would be a standing fight. And if anyone was going to have full mount, it would be Eddie Alvarez. Who gets out of the position. Wow. Connor's throwing kicks. Eddie looks a little tired. Eddie shoots in. Good night. Slams him again. Not good. Eddie's got full mount. Connor wants that second title belt, but he's not going to get it if Eddie keeps slamming him like this. Connor looking for the switch. And he's got it. Takes the back. Oh, big shot! Eddie might be hurt. Eddie's fucked up. Connor's kind of fucked up, though, too. What a grapple-heavy fight. This is very surprising. Now, Dan Dan's in between... Oh, that head kick from Eddie Alvarez. In between the rounds here, we got the replays, and I want to tell you that every week, every Friday, there are new episodes of Let's Play Friday. By the time you're watching this, there's probably 30 episodes of this shit. You can go back and watch me play games like Uncharted 4. Uh, there's been other UFC 2 episodes. I played Elder Scrolls Online, uh, Neverwinter, Alien Nation, all sorts of shit. There's been some retro games in there, too, like Castlevania, Super Mario World. Had a couple guest players on, Vince Burnett, Tara Darcy, the artist formerly known as Mike Charles. Let's Play Friday is a fun, it's a fun show. That's why it's the, the current show, current weekly show. Oh, Connor with the head kick and a kick to the body. Let's see if this one stays on the feet a little bit more. Because you got to wonder how you score those first two rounds. 
I'd say Connor was on top more in round two, but Eddie's the one who took it to the ground. Big right hook with those two massive takedowns he had. Oh, there's a nice uppercut from Eddie who shoots in and a massive double leg drops him right next to that Metro PCS sign. Eddie's making money tonight. Connor looking for the switch. Doesn't get it. Let me get behind him. Connor gets behind him, takes the back. See, now this is the problem that we're seeing with Eddie. There's a pattern here. He shoots in, gets the big slam, gets his back taken. He's landing these massive takedowns, but he's not doing anything with them. He's postured up here. I wanted to see if he could land an elbow or two, because we've got blood all over the mat, but not a whole hell of a lot of significant strikes being landed on the ground. Connor gets away. See, Connor's trying to attack on the feet here. But Eddie's moving around a lot. Oh, there's that hook kick, followed by a left uppercut from Eddie. There's this takedown stuff by Connor. He needs more of that if he wants to win this fight. Connor's been throwing that front kick. It hasn't been landing a whole hell of a lot. Nice knee of the body answer with a left hook by Eddie. Oh, stepping right hook from Eddie Alvarez. That's trouble. Connor does not want to eat another one of those as Eddie, the head movement to get out of the way of that head kick. That was beautiful. Connor is throwing and missing a lot here. Connor shoots and Connor takes down Eddie with the single leg. Dan Dan's, what is going on? This is, we're in the Twilight Zone. Eddie looking for the switch and gets out of the bad position immediately. He's got Connor's back. Into full guard. It's been a pretty good fight so far. <laughs> Nobody other. I think Eddie got rocked early in that first round. Other than that. Some good strikes, but nobody's really been in significant danger since that first round. I look for the switch. Takes the back. Can he do anything with it? Only 10 seconds left in the round. Nope. Not going to happen. Oh! Beautiful sweep into half guard. Danny, you got to think that Eddie Alvarez won that round. So... The first round, possibly debatable. I mean, Connor hurt him, but he also got taken down. I got to give Eddie the, the second and third round. So I've got Eddie up 29-28 right now with those big slams and then that Connor with the hook kick. I wanted to see that stepping right hook from Eddie Alvarez. Boom! With that uppercut. Dan Ans, if you're not watching Lauren vs. Food on YouTube.com slash 616 Entertainment, big fucking mistake. It's not a weekly series. We've done three episodes at this point where Lauren has taken on White Castle, Birthday Cake, and Dunkin' Donuts. You should watch all three of them because they're all a maze. Yeah, she co-hosts with the artist formerly known as Mike Charles and the beautiful Tara Darcy. These guys are going at it on the feet here at the beginning of round four. Connor with the flying knee, Eddie blocks it, and Eddie calls him in. Connor's landing a lot here. He might know he's down in this fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown with a right uppercut. That was beautiful. Oh, stinging left uppercut from Eddie Alvarez. These guys are going for it on the feet. This is probably the most action we've seen on the feet since the fight started. Oh, Connor with a beautiful right uppercut. Perry into the body shot. Eddie answers with the uppercut. Head kick from McGregor. That was a nice shot. Oh, cartwheel kick. Slowing down a little bit here. Ooh, stinging shots from Alvarez. Connor says, give me some more. I don't know if that's what he actually said, but he motioned that with his fingers. Eddie shoots in. 
Connor stuffs him. Eddie looking for the underhook, but Connor's shutting it down. Ty Plum here. Nope, not going to happen. Goes for the double underhooks instead. Eddie's got the Ty Plum. Blocks the, Connor blocks the knee, though. Whoop. Huge knee from Eddie Alvarez there. Connor with the body kick and he drops him. That oh, that's the these are the biggest strikes of this fight. I'm getting full of my sh my fucking words now. I can't speak. As Eddie answers back, shoots in. He got dropped with that body shot and said, "You know what? Why am I standing with him? Fuck this." You gotta think. Connor's been landing more in this round. Dropped him with that hard body kick. If we give Connor this round and we go to a fifth, which I think we will, the fifth round could be the decider. Eddie gets full mount. Not good for McGregor, whether there's 10 seconds left or not. Oh my goodness, Dan Ans, we're going to a fifth round. Connor throws one punch to the body from the bottom, just as a fuck you. Let's see the replay. Connor with that capoeira kick. Earlier I called it a cartwheel kick. It's not a cartwheel kick. It's a capoeira kick. Let's see this. Boom! Stepping side kick to the body. Hits him right in the liver. Drops Eddie Alvarez like a sack of shit. And then Eddie shoots in going, Why am I fucking with this dude on the feet? Slams him down. The big boss man would be very proud of that sidewalk slam. Rest in peace, big boss man. <laughs> It was funny, at Matt Nick's house, we were watching Henderson versus Bisping 2. And one of the funniest moments, I didn't even mean for this to be funny, it just came out of my mouth. Maxwell goes, I can't believe Henderson Bisping is a title fight in 2016. And I go, guys, Kimbo's dead. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Kimbo. They t Ooh, is that a fake glove touch right there? This could be the deciding round, depending on how you have it scored. I think I've got it two apiece. First round is arguable. Ooh, nice uppercuts. Eddie's, Eddie's, ooh, Connor throws that hook kick and Eddie dodges. If I'm Connor McGregor, I'm, go if, or Eddie Alvarez, I'm going for it here. Somebody's got to steal this fifth round and make it happen. Eddie shoots, but he's way too far out. Connor with the body kick. Oh, big head kick from Alvarez. Eddie catches Connor's kick, tells him to get the fuck out of here. Eddie looking for the knee, but Connor parries. Ooh, there's a knee to the body. Another one. This is not good if you're McGregor. You want to get out of here. That's a nice shot to the body. Double jab with a leg kick. I like that. Ooh, Connor's doubling up on that jab and it's landing. Nice. Oh, big mistake. Connor goes for the spinning back fist, gets double legged. Eddie looks like he's stepping out. What the fuck? I thought he was backing up for a foot lock. Let's Connor up. Connor gets a takedown. Huge mistake. Oh, man. That makes this fight even harder to judge now. Connor postures up. Eddie's like, nah. They looking for the switch, and he's gonna take the back. Connor looking for the switch. Nope. Eddie steps over into half. Postured up. Ooh, into side control. Lots of movement here on the ground, but not a lot of submission attempts, not a lot of heavy strikes being thrown. This is going to be a crazy fight to score. Connor looking for the switch, and he gets it. Dan Ans, if we go to decision, I'll pause real quick and put the announcing on so we can hear what the scores are. Maybe I'll edit it out. You won't even have to see it. I don't know. Ooh, Eddie goes for a big shot. Connor gets out of the way of it.
Eddie is really, he's kind of having his way with him. He's postured up. Kind of having his way with him on the ground. Connor gets up though. Connor looks exhausted. Eddie shoots, but Connor dodges. That's a nice straight left. Somebody do something. Oh, stepping right hook from Eddie. Cool. I'm going to pause it real quick, and we're going to turn on the announcing um, so we can hear what the scorecards were. The judges have rendered their decision. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. What do we got, Dan Ans? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 49-46. Elvis. And the winner, by unanimous decision, Eddie Alvarez. Yep. And still, Eddie Alvarez takes the fight by unanimous decision. It sounded to me like it was 49-46 and two 50-45s. So on two judges' scorecards, Eddie completely shut Connor out. Dan is, is this what we're going to see in New York at UFC 205? Does Eddie Alvarez shut out Connor McGregor in a decision? We're going to see. How did you score the fight? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not you. Leave a comment. I love you, Dan Ans. I'll see you next week on Let's Play Friday.